Today, I'll show you how to make the ultimate emergency survival kit, making you ready for any kind of situation, zombies, wilderness, you're trapped. Interested? Here we go. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, so I decided to go and buy one of those emergency survival kits. There's, you know, like a 14 in 1, 12 in 1, 11 in 1, 15 in 1, and here it is. Doesn't sound like there's any padding in there. We're gonna open this box up and see what's inside. Absolutely no padding. This is the chillax one. I'll put it down below if you're interested. It's about the size that I thought it would be around this way. Pretty heavy. Let's weigh this thing. To just over a pound or 461 grams. Open it up. Got these little clips here. I believe this is supposed to be waterproof. Boy, they are not easy. To Okay, you got a little bit of foam padding here to keep everything in place from knocking around, unlike the box it came in. You get a emergency blanket, 130 by 210 centimeters. It's actually the smallest blanket you can have. So this must be the fire starter. Crinkly bag. Come on. Rod, got a little connection here, and let's just get crazy. We're inside, but see how good it is. And. Oh man, did you see that? You gotta get the coating off, but yep, it sparks. A little grooves here. <laughs> You've got a five centimeter ruler because we know when you're out in the wild, you really wanna measure things that are very small. And then that looks like a bottle cap opener. You've got yet another fire striker here. So let's see if it works. Yep, sparks. But I would be worried that this thing would gouge into this. I've got a fairly big wrist. Hmm. It does clip without being on my wrist. There's a compass and a whistle. That's not a bad whistle, actually. Might get attention. I want to get this on my wrist. Yeah, look at that. I might be able to do it now. It's almost there. Hey, look at that. It does fit my wrist. This didn't come in the kit, but this is a accurate navigation compass for reading maps. Let's compare it to the compass on the wristband. Okay, they kind of agree with each other. Not too bad. Flashlight. Let me guess. No batteries. See if I can dig up a double A somewhere. Go for the flashlight test. Not bad, it's a bit of a focus to it. Lightweight, nice little clip here. I have things similar that I've used for my lightsabers, although I think those are a little bigger. Here, and I got another whistle. Oh my gosh, that thing is loud. It's deafening. Wow, these kits, the cheapest you can get them is around 11 plus tax and then upwards to $20. Here we go, this is another LED. It's got a simple switch here keychain. I'd be a little worried about that switch. I don't think it's rugged. It gives you another light. Tactical pen. Take a look at this. A little loose here. I have to tighten it up a bit. Now in some places this would be illegal. Considered a weapon. That's pretty sharp. Use that to break windows or as a weapon. Either side would be very lethal. Six inches long pen. Now does it write? Yeah, not bad. Probably won't be able to take that on an airplane I would think. This is the knife. Little carabiner clip. Also is the release. A little oily, definitely sharp. Two and a half inch blade, locks well, quick to put on your belt. Definitely could do the job in a pinch. This is a multi-tool, comes in a little plastic wallet and it's so complicated, it needs a description. You have to go back and forth on it. Here it's stainless steel. Another measurement, this is two inches. So you can measure all sorts of really little things. You can measure five centimeters or two inches. So you get the English, system and the metric system. And a little saw blade, it's kind of sharp. Yet another bottle opener. Kind of a sharp edge there. Not sure you could take this on a plane either. Flathead screwdriver, seven. Butterfly wrench, saw blade is here. All right, let's try this saw. Wow, use it one direction. I'm not sure I could saw very long with that. Nine, sundial I guess. A little hole for a lanyard. Kind of heavy, a couple ounces there. And then a compass. See how this does compared to the other one. And one of these when I was a kid. Oh, very fancy. See how it does? Matches up pretty well. Not a big fan of this kind of compass. The time to learn how to use a compass is not when you're in a survival condition. Most cell phones will work almost anywhere, but on top of Mount Whitney, I used a cell phone to call my wife. Kind of like compasses. If you're not used to fishing, this is gonna be absolutely of no value to you. I don't wanna take it out of the bag. That little hook there, smallest amount of filament and a piece of bait. Well, the one here is the Chillax. It's now available at $14.95 with a $2 coupon, so $12.95. Let's count it up again and see what we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Maybe this counts as 13. Value, is it worth it? $1, $2, $3, $4, hmm, $2. So we're up to $6. That's another $2. 8, blanket, $2. 10, 50 cents, dollar. These knives are always funny. Sharp, will hold it edge, hard to tell. So it's worth just about what I paid for it, $12.50. Now let me show you the ultimate kit. Things that I think should be part of any survival kit. And we're gonna have to probably offset some things here. Take this out. Hand sanitizer. This can also be used as a fire starter. I'm gonna offset that compass for now. Carabiners, very helpful. You can load those in here. Anti-diarrhea pills, ibuprofen. Definitely want to put those in here. And I'll go right down in this. Some sort of lip balm. The lips get really trashed in a lot of survival conditions. This is a hundred pound parachute cord. Some band-aids and toothpicks. Now you probably could carve some out on the wild. You know these are gonna work. And if you ever get stuff in your teeth, these are kind of like your dental emergency. All right, it's closing. I put in an extra cutter. This one's good because you can break it off as you use it. Some gum. If you can't find a water source or you're just not sure or you're hungry, gum really helps out. Getting awful tight there, hitting the seams. Maybe we could squeeze that in. Okay, I was able to add all those extra gear on there. Only three ounces more of gear. You've got a heck of a lot better emergency survival kit. Now, I'm gonna add a couple items. Electrical tape and duct tape. Couple reasons for that. First of all, makes this real obvious. And there's a thousand and one uses for this. For some reason you drop it on the ground or say it falls out of your pack. You may never find it. If, but if you got some red on there, it's going to stick out. And you can put several layers of duct tape and use it for absolutely all sorts of things. Weighs practically nothing. Easy to tear. Fairly waterproof. Sticks to itself. Well, we won't be using that part on this emergency kit. Emergency survival kit. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more builds, inventions, designs, and crazy things like this. Coming soon.